Hi guys, it's Lex Sims here, and welcome back to my channel, or to my channel. If you're new, I'm assuming most of you are new, or just looking for a solution to your problem. Um, anyways, today I decided that, um, well here's the thing, to give you guys a little bit of background. Um, I don't really post on this channel, I haven't posted on this channel in a long time, like I've only posted like one or two videos. Um, and that's because it's really hard to film on the computer that I'm using. But I do plan on posting more actual videos and playthroughs on this channel in the future. So if you want to subscribe, that'd be nice if you're new. But today I'm talking about the Sims 4 um, new December 4th, I think, update. And um, I had a little issue with it and I just thought, I know I'm not posting on this channel right now, but I can record a little video to help people out who had the same problem because I couldn't find any videos online that had the same problem and I just wanted to help people out if they were having the same problem and couldn't find the video so they wouldn't be all on their own like I was. So right now I have already fixed the problem so the screen isn't like the little screen I was saying isn't popping up but I'll put that the screenshot of like one I found online of what it was saying so I'll put that up right now. That is what it was saying to me every single time and like normal whenever I first saw that after the update had gone through I opened my game and I went to other and I enabled these two right and I clicked apply changes restarted the game and it would still pop up that same exact message to me <sighs> so I tried taking the custom content out restarting the game I just did this multiple times it kept popping up so I want to show you guys how to fix that if you are having the same exact issue the way that I fixed it was um let me just get out of here real quick okay so the way that I fixed it was I went to my folders and I went to documents, electronic arts, The Sims 4. So once you are to this page right here, um, you're going to see this folder, mods, which is obviously where you keep your mods. And what I did was I went ahead and just took the entire folder out. So um, just take it to your desktop for now and like don't go into your mods folder and take it out specifically, like take out the entire mods folder. Put it off to the side right so you don't have any mods folder in here okay you're gonna x out of it and then you're gonna go back into your sims 4 and you're going to click enable custom content and script mods allowed and you're gonna go ahead and click apply changes um and exit game and we're gonna start it back up again so this is actually quite a simple fix and it's quite weird that it took me so long to figure it out but yeah so now if you click play again Alright, so now that we have our Sims 4 reloaded up, you're going to go back to your home screen. I just clicked the Windows key to get there, if you guys didn't know that, obviously, but... Go to your files, reopen your files folder, go to Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and now you have a completely new mods folder, okay? So you're going to want to open that mods folder, and you already have a brand new resource um, thing. So we're going to open the mods folder that we put on our desktop. And we're going to go ahead and delete the new, or delete the old, sorry, the old resource uh, that was on our home screen. And we're going to take whatever mods you have in here. I have mine really um, neatly packed, like I have custom content and then script mods. You can see there's a lot in here, but yeah. Uh, we're going to just take whatever mods we have in the mods folder on our desktop and pop those into the new mods folder in the electronic arts um, documents area you know what I'm talking about right and now we have that okay and you could just delete your old mods folder that you have over here that is now empty or should be empty right and so now you have this new mods folder it has all your custom content in it okay cool cool I'm gonna go back to Sims 4 you're going to go to options you're going to exit the game and you're going to reload it once more. Click play. Okay, and once you start back up your Sims 4, you I have mine enabled so that way it will show my mods list at every start but start up, but that obviously depends on your settings. Either way, when you load back up, you should have all of your mods and everything should be working correctly. So that is how you fix this issue if you're having it. Um, if you are having this issue, I hope it works for you. That's just what works for me. Maybe it's different. I don't know. I assume it's the same exact thing for everyone else. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helped you um if it did please leave a like if it didn't and you hate me and this video you can leave a, d uh, a dislike but um other than that yeah um i'm gonna go now 
And uh, yeah, bye.